Okay, so this is the site of a stormwater detention feature that's been installed in an area that was suffering from severe head cutting. And uh, the agency I'm working with right now is interested in installing a remote environmental monitor at the site to determine when a culvert is discharging. And you can see the head cut that we're trying to control in the uh, background of this uh, short film. And there's the uh, remote environmental monitor that's actually being installed by one of our interns at our agency. And uh, it's going to talk to an ultrasonic sensor that's going to tell us when that, um, when that culvert is discharging and uh, hopefully uh, trigger us to go out and uh, be able to pull some samples. So while we're out here, I thought I'd uh, try these little LoRa radios that I demonstrated in a prior video. And the idea behind these is we can basically use a radio signal with an Arduino to transmit uh, low bandwidth data over very long distances. So I've already demonstrated uh, how these perform in an urban environment with a lot of buildings around. We, I think the best we got was about 800 meters range. So um, while we're out here in this vast expanse where we have good line of sight, uh, I'm going to take a few minutes just to see what kind of range we can get on these radios out here. Okay, and this shows the location where I'm going to set up my transmitter. And this is a historical aerial photo so you can uh, see the head cutting that's since been replaced with the stormwater detention feature, which will also provide us with some grade control. Okay, so I placed this on, uh, on this little sign right here that gives me good visibility of the basin. Um, I don't know how far out I'm going to be able to drive out today because uh, we have other things we need to do, but I um, dropped a waypoint on this. It's uh, 96, so now I'm going to take my, uh, my little receiver and I'm going to see how far I can drive out and still get a signal off this thing, given that it has relatively good visibility here. See what happens. Okay. Okay, I'm at waypoint 97 right now. I'm on the other side of the basin. I have good visibility of that sign over there. Um, it's getting late in the day, so you can see my shadow. There's also the rabbits are coming out. Um, bottom line is, is that I'm getting, I'm getting pretty good uh, reading on my radio. Let's bring it up over here. I attached an OLED to this thing so I could actually read it without having it tethered to a, uh, to a computer. You can see my RSSI is pretty good, and uh, I'm pretty far away from that, from that little white sign on the basin. I'm going to drive out a little bit more, see how well I can do. Okay, um, the point is way the heck out there. Um, I can't even see it. Uh, I ha actually drove through a little, um, a little dip. And uh, the RSSI dropped to about um, uh, negative 101. I came up on this little ridge, and right now it's at about negative 92. But you can see that I am getting, uh, you know, transmit that I am able to transmit data. That's pretty impressive. Once again, you know, the fact that I can that I can transmit data for such a long distance uh, with a relatively good line of sight. Uh, on a free radio uh, band that can talk to Arduino. That to me is really powerful. So now I'm back at the basin. You can see my RSSI has improved significantly. And that little white sign that's way out there, I'm going to have to probably get out of the car to be able to focus in on it is where my transmitter is located.